See, people need something that they never heard before, man, something original. I just happen to be here to provide that. Big Poe, Deuce's Wild Shit. I'm not a wave rider, original with the flow and a product, giving them work like a slave driver. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not a wave What's rider. What's noisy neighbors? It's your boy, Big Boy Noise. Um, I'm chilling in the boom boom room, man, just having a good time. And I figured, uh, let's talk a little bit about the controversy. You know the controversy I'm speaking of, the caliber controversy. Um, real quick, guys, this is not going to be a ballistic test. I am not very scientific. I'm not going to be very scientific. I'm not going to be super detailed. I'm going to put a rest to this thing once and for all with a very simple conversation, okay? What's the best caliber, pistol caliber to use? What's the most punishing caliber? The 9mm, the 40 caliber round, or the 45 ACP, 45 Fat Boys. Um, for me, it's simple. Before I go into little intricate details, I'm just going to keep it real simple for me. When you were a kid, you remember having a snowball fight? Well, first of all, even before the snowball fight, you remember when your mom said, if somebody bigger than you, you pick up a stick or you pick up a brick and you hit them with it? I don't remember, you know, depending on where you're from, your background, but that's how it was where I'm from growing up. Your mom tell you, somebody bigger than you, you pick up a stick or a brick. Or you ever remember getting mad at the kid that might be a little older than you when you were young and just crying or whatever, or old, mad at your, just your older brother or just somebody, and you grab a brick. Why didn't you grab a, a, a rock? Why didn't you grab a rock? If you seen a rock right next to that brick, you would grab that brick. Well, guys, I'm here to tell you that. This 9 millimeter is a rock, which will hurt if you throw it at somebody. But the 45 is just a brick. It's just we're programmed from early on that bigger is going to hurt more. And it, it is just, it's just the truth. A rock's hurt. You try to dodge that rock. But you see a kid running at you with a brick. You ain't trying to dodge that brick. You're running now. Now, yes, the kid going to throw the brick. He can't throw the brick. He can't throw the brick any harder. Then he could throw the rock. It's not going to come at you any harder. It, actually, the brick is going to be slower. Okay? But it's just the fact that the brick is bigger. That's all. It's just bigger. So, I mean, if you ask me what round I prefer, of course, I'm going to say 45. It costs more. But let's just ignore all the costs. Let's just get into the simplicity of why there are 45 levers. I don't want... I love all calibers, but I don't want anybody to judge people who love the 45. You know what I mean? I know they're kind of cocky, you know, but they're just, some people are just like 45 only. The only thing I'm carrying, the only thing I'm using is 45. But guys, we can't judge them. You know what I mean? Let them have their caliber. I love 45. It's just expensive. It's a brick. It's it's in a, more, a little more intimidating. Okay? That's all it is. And then the 40 caliber. The 40 caliber is like, um, when you were a kid, you were having a snowball fight. Where I'm from, you'd be having a snowball fight. You see? It's a little bigger than a 9mm. Right? It's bigger than your typical snowball. But And the reason being, okay, a little bigger than your typical snowball. And that reason being is because back in the day, when or, or mystery night, or usually like if it's a snowball fight, somebody, remember they'd be like, Yo, put a rock in a snowball and hit him with it. Bang! I'm going to let them really feel the snowball. <laughs> That's just the way it was where I'm from. You know what I mean? You could throw snowballs, but after a while, or if you're not using a rock, you'd be like, yo, you grab a piece of ice. You find a piece of ice out in the snow when you play. I don't know if, you, if, if, if it snows where you're from. You find the hardest piece of ice, and then you just pack a, you pack a little bit of snow around it. And you just throw that ice at them. You're like, this hit them upside the head. It's going to hurt them. Especially if a person was playing... Throwing snow and you didn't want to play throwing snow. If a person hit you with a snowball and you was never playing a game, you say, oh, I got something for him. You get an ice ball. And sometimes you take it home and you let it go and sit it in a freezer for days. And you bring it back for revenge. I remember doing it. You bring it out for revenge. A hard, so smooth and hard. It looked like snow, but it's really a block of ice. Bow, hit somebody with it. <laughs> that's how it was. Well, that's what a 40 caliber is. The 40 caliber is a snowball. 
just like a nine millimeter, but the 40 caliber is that frozen piece of ice. It hits harder. In actuality, the 40 caliber hits harder, hits harder than nine millimeter, and it actually even hits harder than the 45 Fat Boy. It's a little smaller in size, but the way they made this round, it's a hotter round. You know, look at the size, look at the size of the shell, which is the casing. Look at the size of the casing going down from the bullet on down. It's a hotter round. It holds more gunpowder and it comes out harder. It hits harder. But it's just that the difference between the 40 and the 45, the 45 caliber, the 45 ACP just puts a bigger hole in you. So, you know, it's like back in the day when you picked up a bigger rock, it's because you wanted to put a bigger bruise on a person. You pick up a brick, like, I'm hit you with this brick. You want to bust their head open. You want to bust their body up real bad with the brick. And that's what the 45 will do. The 45 is simply representing picking up the biggest rock that you could find and throwing it at a person. That's why you have people who love the 45 so much. So here it is, your 9 millimeter, your 40 caliber, and your 45. Okay? Just real simple. No real science going on here. So, guys, you guys let me know. Uh, what do you like to throw the most? Um, rocks? Ice? An icy snowball? Or like to throw a brick? It just is what it is. Bricks are intimidating. I mean, even the, uh, when a brick, when first see a brick, they run. You know, like, yo, 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 pick that brick down. Yo, get him. Call his mom. Put that brick down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, look at the bars. That's just the intimidation factor. But when it comes to firearms, you never want to use a firearm to intimidate. But just speaking, just staying in context with uh, the bigger brick. Look at the bore of this 9 millimeter. Look at the size of the, the bore which is the front of the barrel where the bullet comes out look at that and then look at the big mouth look at the bore of a 45. not that much different but there's a big difference let me put it there now because the camera angle is different so i want you to get a clean look at the different size of the bore okay there you go good and better angle look at the bore of the 45. okay and look at the bore of the nine This is the brick. This is the brick. The big slow moving brick that runs them away. Okay. They both get the job done. This is the stone. Okay. They both get the job done. I always say David killed Goliath with smooth stone. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. What do you guys, uh, well, I guess for the sake of, uh, the video, I might as well show you the bore of a 40 cow, right? Here's the 40 cow bore. 40 cal look at the three bores. But guess what? At the end of the day, you wouldn't want any of them pointing at you. The 45 bore. The 9 millimeter bore. And the 40, 40 caliber bore. 45 ACP. The 9 millimeter bore is at the bottom. The 45 is in the middle. And the 40 caliber bore is on top. Which one of these would you like pointing at you? None of them. You wouldn't want to be on the end of any of these bars. Okay? You wouldn't be on the other, you wouldn't want to be on the other end of any of these barrels. So I think we should just stop the caliber arguing, caliber debating. The reason I'd rather shoot nine millimeters is because nine millimeter is cheaper, that's all. And it's lighter for a firearm that you can sell. We shouldn't uh, judge anybody. It's like the judgment-free zone here, here at the Boom Boom Room. We shouldn't judge anybody for their choice of caliber. You know what I mean? Because all of them get the job done. And we can't just say, ah, there's not enough difference to one of different caliber. I'll just stick with nine. You can say that. That's your choice. I just, everybody has the freedom of choice. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for taking the time out in your day to come by and visit my gun channel. Welcome to Big Boy Noise. I hope you subscribe. Hit the icon bell at the bottom so you can get alerts whenever I post a new video. And uh, me... I'm your host, the big boy.